all across the globe, you can find trash. Human has left garbage on every continent and every country of this world. It doesn't matter if you're at the beach, if you're near a river, a pond, or out in the forest. Somewhere you can find remains of human trash. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can use plastic bottles to boil water if you don't have any means of procuring safe water in the wild. So human garbage like this is floating around all over the place. I mean, this was just floating around in this pond right here. So uh, this can be used to boil water and we're just gonna use some palm water. The purpose of using a plastic bottle to boil water is because you may not always have a means of boiling your water. And really what we're just trying to do here is give us enough water to last us till the next water source. When you're boiling water in plastic, you don't want to fill it up no more than three quarters of the way. Because as it's heating up, the bottle's going to shrink a little bit. So three quarters, maybe a little bit higher is fine. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a Y stick. Just a normal little Y stick and we're going to jam it in the ground somewhere near our fire when we light it. And you're just going to need this. It's a normal stick. It's just a random stick I found, found on the ground. You could use a piece of a sapling or whatever, it really doesn't matter. But this is going to go over the Y stick and then you can adjust your height over the fire with this. And you're going to hang your water bottle from up here. Because the only thing you want is for the flames to lick the bottom. So you got your fire. Next thing you need to do is work on your bottle hanger. So then we're going to take our bottle just wrap it around, make a good little dot on there. You can use vines or some other flexible thing if you didn't have cord or your shoelace. And then take your top off. And then we're just going to try and position that so that it's just barely above the fire where flames could just kind of lick the bottom. Flames can just lick the bottom right there. And I can throw in little sticks and stuff right here to help the flames get a little bit hotter. Okay, so you can see we've definitely got some progress here. We got some... nice owl. So we've got some nice progress going on right here. We've got a little bit of bubbling going on. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer, but um this should be getting to be safe. Keeping it hot like this for an extended period of time will also sterilize it. Now you don't want to do this uh, many times with the same bottle because the bottle will start to release toxins and stuff. So this is kind of a one two shot deal. It's to help you move forward to get to your next source of water. Alright so you now you can see here that water level went from like here to up here. You can also see how much the uh, bottle has shrunk. At this point, I would go ahead and consider that safe. It's bubbled a good little bit. I'm going to see a lot of bubbles going on right there. Good to go. We'll go ahead and pull this off. And we'll go set this somewhere to cool. Well, it should be cool enough now. It's still warm and rather cold water, but that's alright. Don't smell like anything. Maybe a little bit of smoke. No flavor. Tastes just like water. That's palm water. So that's how you can use a plastic bottle to boil water in the wild. Now, again, I'm going to stress not to use the same bottle over and over again because it's eventually going to leach chemicals in. And it does leach chemicals in when you do it the first time, but there's so much a minimal amount of them that's in the actual uh, water that it's really not a major health concern. And the idea behind this is a survival skill, not a everyday thing. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you all in the next video.